Hello, everybody. This is Brandon Gonzalez here, your PLC2 and PLC3 instructor. Today, I'm going to make a quick video on uh, creating an HMI program that will successfully uh, link with tags to your Studio 5000 program, and then you can essentially use a start and stop button or use a real basic program. So, all I'm going to do is link a start and stop button. In, uh, from my controller tags in my Studio 5000 program and uh, make them cross communicate. So I'll take a couple of tags, assign them to the push buttons I'll make in my HMI program, and then I'll push the button so you can see the tags going on uh, within the program itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the screen with you guys. So I've already got my PLC program open. All right, so now you should see my controller tags in my uh, PLC program uh, in Studio 5000 here. I am online. See over here, everything's in line in one mode, and these are my controller tags. Now there is a program here, but we'll just ignore that. I'm just going to use this for demonstration purposes. You can use these tags in your programs later, and your HMI push button will, will turn them on and off. So I, I can demonstrate that for you, too. I'll make a quick program, and then we'll, we'll uh, cut it from there. <clears throat> so for the purposes of this, I went ahead and used start push button zero and start push button one. And you'll see I already gave a description over here, HMI PD0 and HMI PD1. Um, that's going to be just start and stop to keep it real basic. So we're going to open uh, factory view or factory, factory talk view studio to design our HMI program. So we're going to transfer on to the HMI for shortly. We're using uh, View Studio 9, and it is a panel view plus 400, 600. So we're going to be there. We're going to go to New. <clears throat> then I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it uh, BG HMI. Now we've got to change this PV plus here to the 400, 600. And then I'm just going to hit Create. Now, this program, when you do certain things, it can be kind of slow from time to time. So right now, we're just waiting. waiting for everything to load. All right, cool. So we're there. <clears throat> so you'll see a few things here on the side. This is HMI tags, tags, uh, graphics. We're going to focus on the graphics portion over here under displays. So you can add one or you can use like a main that we have here. So if you expand the displays, you'll see alarm, diagnostics, information, and main. So I'm just going to double click on main here, and this is our main display. Within an HMI program, you can uh, have a main display and click on other buttons. It'll take you to other screens. Your main is just your kind of default that it opens to. So if you wanted to create new ones, you can add them on, and then you can add buttons that will take you to those folders. But again, this is just a real bare bones, basic start, stop, and that's it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and add in a couple of uh, momentary uh, push buttons. As you can see up here, you'll have your menu of different things you can add to the program. So you have a momentary and then a maintained, which means if you push it, it doesn't go off until you push it again on your touch screen. So we're just going to add momentary in here. So I'm going to come down here and you just click on it, and then you draw it in. <clears throat> we'll bring you to this screen here. So if we're going to name it, you just go to states, and I'm just going to type in start. This will say start on the button itself here shortly. 
what I want to do is I do want to um, assign a tag to the button, but there's something we have to do first. So I'm going to go ahead and just close out of that. And I'm going to draw my stop button here as well. And that stop. I okay. I'll give them uh, the tags here shortly. But in order to get ready to give them tags, you need to go down here to factory talk links. That's your communication setup down here. You double click on your communication setup. We're going to do a new configuration. So we're already clicked on there. So we're just going to hit finish and it'll bring you to this screen here. So within this screen here, you'll see some options over here, backplane, Ethernet, AB, all that good stuff. But we need to create a device shortcut first. So I'm just going to leave it as a new shortcut, which we're highlighted on now. And then over here, within our factory talk links network, the 192.168.121, that is our PLC, which we are currently online. And we have our HMI panel, 192.168.1.23, which is also one here. So what we want to do is we want to be able to assign our tags that are currently on our PLC to our HMI program. That way, we, when we go in, we can actually pull those tags for our push buttons and assign them. So I'm just going to click here on the PLC module here and highlight the shortcut button here. So since we have our new shortcut, which is our device shortcut, and we have our PLC highlighted, I'm just gonna hit apply and hit okay. You might get this EDS hardware installation warning, but just hit okay when that pops up. So now that we've assigned that, we're gonna go ahead and copy design to runtime and just hit yes. This is gonna link a few things up. So now down here, you'll see this path is currently assigned to the selected shortcut. Perfect. Now we're just going to hit OK. Now when we go back to our Start button here, you can unhighlight the Push button if you want to, but we're going to right-click on the Start Push button and go to Connections. Now we need to give this a tag that is associated with our PLC. Again, remember, I'm back in Studio 5000. We're going to use Start Push Button 0, and start push button one. Again, I'm using Boolean tags that I've created and I've got the HMI push button zero and HMI push button one here just to keep that a description placeholder. I'm going to go back into my factory view talk and hit tags. Now this here does take a while. Um, for some reason the system doesn't like this part so I'm just going to hit refresh folders and that worked a lot faster than what I thought. Okay, so you'll see new shortcut, new shortcut popped up, and we have online and diagnostic items. If we expand online, now you'll see all of my tags that exist in the PLC program. So within the PLC program, you'll notice the start. I'll go back into Studio 5000, my start push button, and I have 32 Boolean bits to choose from. I expand it. I have HMI push button zero and push button one in the description for zero and one. I'm going to go back to factory view talk and you'll see here's their start push button. If I click on that, you'll see all of my start push buttons, all 32 of them available. They're kind of in a jarbled order because the system recognizes it differently with brackets and hyphens and stuff. So I chose the start push button. So I'm going to select start push button zero. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to hit OK and see it populated here. New shortcut, start push button zero is my expression. When you're done with that, you're just going to hit OK. <clears throat> then I'm going to go to my start push button, right click, go to connections. Same exact thing. Now it brings you right back to where you were at, but instead of using start push button zero, we're going to use start push button one. I'm just going to hit OK and OK. Now, what we've done is we have successfully assigned our tags from our PLC to our HMI push buttons, well, our HMI program that we're going to put on the screen. So once you get this done, you uh, 
basically have completed the steps necessary in order to this. Since we're online and we are communicating, we can go ahead and go up to our tools, or I'm sorry, our uh, application, and we need to create a runtime application. This is the file type that's going to go to the HMI. <clears throat> so you'll see some previous ones here that I've made, but now we're on BG HMI. But for our class in particular, we need to double check and make sure that we're in runtime. Oh, sorry, I don't know why that switched. But we need to be in Windows um, under RSView Enterprises, ME, and then runtime. So we just need to make sure that we are in the correct folder, which we are. And then we need to change runtime 9.0 application to runtime 8.0 application. At this point, we can go ahead and hit save and it'll save BG HMI. And you'll see some stuff going on up here in the top left. That's just converting everything. When it goes save change to main, or main hit yes. Now it's creating our runtime file that we're going to transfer to the HMI. So this takes a second. Getting all of our tags loaded in. All right. We didn't get a warning message. That's a good thing. So next, instead of going to application, we're going to go to tools and we are going to do a transfer utility. When you get to this transfer utility thing, you'll see it already has what I had in here previously. I've got panel view plus 600 highlighted. Device uh, destination storage type, we want it to go to internal storage. And we need to change this because it has what I previously loaded in. So we're going to go here into the runtime and select BG HMI and hit open. And see how it says download as BG HMI. We're just going to go ahead and check that box. It's going to internal storage to our panel view. Make sure this panel view plus is highlighted. And then I'm going to hit download. This is going to download it to the HMI into its internal storage. So now I'm going to hit OK. I can exit this. Now I'm going to pull my Studio 5000 program back up here and you'll see start push button zero and start push button one. Here, I'm just going to show you what my main looks like again in my factory view talk. See how the stop is slightly lower than the start? All right, now I'm going to go into my HMI program here. You won't be able to see this on your screen, but just pay attention to these zeros over here on value. And I'm going to click load application on my HMI screen. Then I'm going to select BG HMI. And then I'm going to hit the load button in the top right. And then it'll say, do you want to replace terminals current communication configuration? I'm just going to hit yes. Now it's loading my program. And when it's done loading, then you just hit run application on your HMI. So now it appears to be done loading. I'm going to hit run application. And I don't appear to have any warning messages yet. All right. So no warning messages. So my HMI screen is now uh, has a start and stop that looks exactly like my factory view talk with the stop slightly lower. So now if I hit my start button, pay attention, start PB0, this value, changing to a one every time I push it. Now there's a slight delay, so I'm gonna have to hold it for a second. Now. I'm going to hit the stop button, and now my start PB1 value is changing from 1 to 0, or 0 to 1, as I push the button. So the program has successfully taken. I've got it on the HMI panel to my left. I'm in run mode on my HMI, and my buttons are working. Now. Just to show you something right here in your main routine, I can go ahead and delete all these runs because this is an old existing program. Sorry, Noah, deleting your program. And I'm just going to make a really, really simple, basic program here. So I'm going to add two runs in here. I'm going to throw a couple of XICs in here. And I'm just going to throw a couple of Output energized. 
And I'm going to make this the make this start push button one or zero and start push button one. Let's copy this address down here and change that zero to a one. All right. And then I'm going to make these my lights that are on your trainers to the left. So I'm just going to go down here to local one output data. Let's go with a DO zero. And uh, copy this down here. Go with a DO two. Finalize. So then as I push my HMI button, if I hit start, my green light did come on. Hit stop. My red light came on. I can do them both at the same time. It won't let me touch both of them at the same time, but I can alternate. You can probably hear them clicking on and off too. So this was a success. This is the basic way to create an HMI program and link your tags together. I wanted to make a video that simplified everything for you guys. I hope this was helpful and thank you guys for your patience.